All right, I'm sitting in a 2019 Dodge Charger. So this one, this is the, the water damage. So we'll go through everything. Radio works like a charm. Got a good song too, sorry I didn't miss that one. You've got a parking sensor, park sense off, park sense on. That works, let me, let's see actually. I don't know if it does it just in the back or in the front, let's see. I'll pull up on this front here, see if it beeps at me. Yeah, it must just be to the rear. Well, there we go. Yep. so there's a ram right there. All right, it's unhappy. Okay, so park sensor for the rear. God, this thing steers like a dream. So, this is what I was telling you on the phone. Put it in park. Whoop. And that's without driving. So, definitely a whole lot easier to turn it while you're moving, but it, I mean, it just steers so well. Um, so that works great. Drivability's awesome. Um, you know, the, uh, it's super smooth. It doesn't make a noise. It's so quiet. It doesn't, you know, you hit a manhole cover or a speed bump, pull into a parking lot. It doesn't make any noise. Um, you know, windows up or down. Um, rolling down State Street, I was probably doing 38 and I was at 58 miles per gallon. Um, it gives you a, a, you know, onboard mileage um, as you drive. So that works. Uh, when I go to climb it, AC works. You know, I've turned this all the way up. You can probably hear the fan going. Turn it down. Um, it has, my Lexus had this, and it's fantastic. It pumps some AC air through the dash, through the door, seals up there, and comes out here. So when you're driving in the winter and your windows get all foggy, it'll defrost it right there um, so you can see your mirrors. It's an amazing feature. Um, I've only seen that in Toyotas and Lexuses, so that's that's pretty cool that it's got it. Um, recirculation works. The rear defroster, I, I assume, works. I really don't have any way of knowing because I can't get any fog or frost on that rear window. Um, but I'd imagine with everything else working, it uh, probably works fine. You can turn the screen off, turn it back on, I think. Yeah, touch screen to turn back on. You do have dual climate zone, um, dual climate control, so you can, you know, passenger driver, you can mess with it, you can sync it, of course. Compass, um, that obviously works. You've got all your settings to play through. Display, you may be able to change colors or something. Touchscreen beep, yeah, display mode. All right, um, let's see, phone, it doesn't do anything because I don't have my phone connected. Um, but it's got all your options here, messaging, taking phone calls, you can load on your, your um, personal stuff. Let's see, radio, not a whole lot to show you with the radio. Radio works. So main things, AC and radio work. You know, every light is good, because this is a water damage vehicle, so it, it, you know, water damage vehicles for the most part have those funky little issues. Um, but this is, you know, even the man, I threw it in manual mode for a moment. I really don't like using those, but I checked it out just to make sure it works and that works fine. Go back in the park. Um, let's see, you've got steering wheel controls. So here, you know, I can flip it to kilometers an hour, how it was before. Here's all your, let me get closer. Oh, okay, maybe not. All right, hopefully you can see. Speedometer, vehicle info. So here's your tire pressure. Um, coolant temp, trans temp, oil temp, all of those are good. Oil pressure goes up when I rev it, beautiful. Oil life, battery voltage, perfect. Back to tire pressure. Fuel economy, so here's your fuel economy readout, 76 miles till empty, and I can reset that by holding OK. Um, average 17 miles per gallon you know and we've been driving it around the lot so it hasn't really been out on the road a whole lot um, more steering wheel controls and in fact there are steering wheel controls behind 
Yeah, so behind the wheel, I had to figure out what was what. Left side of the wheel changes your radio station. Right side of the wheel changes volume. So that's kind of cool. It's got it in the back. Oh, and that switches through my mode. Okay. So yeah, you've got all kinds of controls on the steering wheel. More than you can see. And cruise control, obviously. Um, let's see. One thing to try, I'm gonna have to come out here with a phone charger and test all the USB plugs. Um, make sure all those work. But everything, let's see. Yep, window controls work with the other switches. So... This thing revs crazy high. It goes past 6,000 RPMs, which I had no idea it would rev that high. Uh, but it does it. It's a V6, 3.4 liter V, or 3.6 liter V6, not the V8. So, here we go. All your pulleys, crank pulley tensioner. Brake lines. Looks really good. I mean, it's fairly clean down here. Um, even down low, you know, the exhaust doesn't look like it has a bunch of oil that's burnt onto the heat shield or any of that. Um, looks really good. Packs and still no water line. I've yet to find a water line anywhere on this car. Not in the interior, not the engine bay, um, not on the body. So even if it, if it was in water, it definitely didn't sit in water. Let's see, I wish I could give it a rev. I wanted to find the throttle body so I could give it a rev, but it's probably electronic. And last thing I'll do for you, the electric or uh, the remote start. So there, I don't, it might not want to do it with the door open. Sometimes they're a little goofy. So lock button that twice and hold it. If it's goofy about having doors open, it just did it for me. There we go. Starts up. If it's low on gas, it'll shut off after a couple seconds. It did that to me earlier, so I went and put some gas in it. But at least you can start the car, warm it up in the winter, cool it down in the summer, and then when you get in, foot on the brake and hit the, the push button start. Um, to get it going, otherwise you can't drive it. So nobody can just hop in your car and steal it if you start it in the morning and let it warm. Um, so there you go. There's a, a 2019 uh, Dodge Charger. Looking good.